Hi, welcome to AmbulanceSmith.com. And today, I'm going to show you how to determine what your barrel twist rate is. It's really simple and you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a good cleaning rod, preferably a one-piece, white electrical tape, a sharpie, or works usually best, tape measure, and you're going to need some bore brushes and a couple of patches. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing we need to do is remove the bolt. Make sure we have a complete set of weapon by ensuring that it is empty. Now what you want to do is you want to take your tape. This is a real easy process, but there's some ways are more effective than others. You don't want to put you don't want to start the tape down here at all. You want to start it at about the midway point on your cleaning rod and you want to have about a foot or better of tape. And the reason is determining um, your twist rate is important for several reasons. One, especially with 22 caliber rifles, you're going to find that Twist rates vary considerably from manufacturer to manufacturer. Okay. And that determines what weight bullets you can accurately fire and which ones you cannot. So what you want to do is when you get your tape on here, just kind of roll it over like this. See how I'm doing that? Doesn't have to be perfect. There has to be some go all the way around the circumference of the rod. And the reason why you want that is so you can make your mark. And the mark that you make from first to in, first mark to last is going to tell you what your twist rate is. And for this instruction, I'm just going to use my Seiko that we took to the range for the fire forming class. And the reason why we're doing this is I've never determined what my twist rate in this barrel is. My imagine is going to be fairly quick and it's going to be metric. So I'm going to have a kind of an odd um, twist in this thing. So I'm going to take a take a bore brush. I'm going to use a nine millimeter bore brush. They usually work pretty good. And being a 9.3. What this will help me determine is can I shoot bullets heavier than 300 grains? Well, we'll find out. So what you do is you get a bore brush like this so it will fit tightly in the bore. You may have to try this a couple times so I'm going to stop filming for a second and then I'm going to go ahead and get this thing set up and then we'll go ahead and measure the, the twist rate. Okay, <clears throat> I tested the the bore to brush fit and I had to put a little bit of patch on. The first patch I had was a bit on the big side. So as you can see, I have tape running down the length of my cleaning rod here. So what you need to do is figure out your reference point. And the way I figure out my reference point is I look for the seam on the tape. And I use that reference point so when the seam of the tape is pointing straight up, I make my mark. And I make it, I'm going to make it right below my scope cap. This isn't the most scientific method in the world, but it gives you a really good idea. Because twist rates don't really vary that much. If uh, you got a 1 in 14 twist, you don't have to worry about like a 1 in 14 point in a quarter or anything like that. See, they're going to be 1 in 12, 1 in 14, 1 in 7. It all depends. Some calibers are pretty specific. So what I'm going to do, when you push down, you don't want to grab the rod. You want the rod to stay threaded tightly to your either your brush or your jag, if you have a tight-fitting jag with a, with a patch, so that you don't get an inaccurate reading. So when I push, I'm going to kind of guide it along with the rifling twist. So here we go. And when this seam 
comes back up again, I'm going to make another mark. Then I'm going to pull the cleaning brush assembly out, and I'm going to measure between the two points. So here we go. It didn't work out too well, so let's bring it back. Let me have it. I'll just put an X on this. This has a real long twist, so I'm going to mark that again. Try it. I'm expecting it to be like a. Oh, there we go. Okay. If you push it, do what I did, and put the board brush too far down the board, it'll shoot out the end before you can get an accurate reading. So you just reset it. Alright, now I get my two marks. Now I'm going to measure them. Okay, the X is one we're going to ignore. So, I have a 1 in 11 and a half twist on my 9.3 by 62. That's decently fast for a bullet that big. So I'm pretty confident I can shoot a 300 gram bullet out of this and it'll stabilize quite well at the velocities that this rifle will achieve. Which is, we're talking about 2300 feet a second, 2400 feet a second for the 9.3 by 62.